I have been homeschooled since third grade and all of the people at this tournament will also be homeschooled because we're a homeschool debate league. In Team Policy Debate, a team of two competitors develop and defend policies that address real problems. A debate round pits an affirmative team against a negative team. The affirmative team has to uphold the resolution. The burden of proof rests on the affirmative team. Judges use a flow sheet to keep track of arguments. The round is broken into two halves, a constructive phase where arguments are introduced and speakers are cross-examined by the other team, and a rebuttal phase where no new arguments may be introduced. Right now I'm packing up my stuff for Oklahoma, deciding what clothes to bring. The drive there is about four or five hours long. Green check marks are kind of awards. You get one for going positive in debate. I would really like to have a green check mark because it would be really nice to have it in our first year of debating. On average, about 20 teams get a green check. I feel kind of nervous because I haven't prepared as much in comparison to the last tournament. The burden of proof is something that the affirmative team has to uphold in every round if they want to win. In this past round, we hit a team that was running the same case that we are. We kept on getting confused because we, would, we were starting to say something, but then we would figure out that it goes against what we were saying and for what they are saying because we're so used to saying it. By repealing their plan, we are stopping people. I'm sorry, I'm confused. We just finished the first round on day two, and I feel like we did a lot better, and it's probably partially because I got more sleep, and we went up against a really good team that's nationally ranked, but I feel like we did really, really well. Power matching is whenever the tournament matches competitors based on how many rounds they've won. So not only are we seeing higher prices, but we're also seeing rights being taken away. I mean, if we're power matching, I think we've got a great chance of getting a green check. Team policy, we have 10 teams with a winning record. The, the moment I heard that only 10 teams had a positive record, I knew that we weren't going to get a check mark because 10 teams is a very small number and there's more than team, really, really good teams, and then we're not quite as good as those teams that didn't even make it. Next year, I'm going to put a lot of effort into TP, and we can keep on working on it and improving it and just getting better to the point where we get a check mark and we can go to nationals.